Well, hello again. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to combine models, either uh, classification models or regression models in Weka using the Weka API, i.e. from your Java source code. Combining models in general is known as ensembles method. So, aka here stands for the, aka, I'm sorry, stands for also known as. The methods I'm going to be covering here are boosting, bagging, stacking, and voting. Fortunately, Weka gives us uh, uh, a good implementation of all of these, and all we need to do is just to find them in the uh, documentation to read about them into the uh, Weka documentation. I'm not going to be showing you any documentation here, but where you can find them is the package is Weka.classifiers.meta. So if you go to Weka.classifiers.meta, you will find uh, uh, those classes I'm going to be covering here and you will find uh, uh, the documentation there and the list of methods and things like that so let's have a look at the code here I've just loaded data set I've, I've actually stored the full path to data set uh, in a string variable so we can actually just to, for it to fit, fit in, the, in the screen and the normal way of using the data source to load the data and then get instances and then to set up the class index as we've seen before and then here I show you how to use the boosting the algorithm I'm using here is called adaboost m1 so it's actually a an algorithm to boost a weak classifier using the adaboost m1 method by the way I'm gonna be assuming uh, that you know what these methods in at least you know how they work boosting bagging stacking and voting if you look up in your in my youtube channel I should have a video explaining in slightly more detail how these uh, methods work and the intuition behind them anyway so here we're using the adaboost m1 method uh, to boost a weak classifier it's used usually for boosting a nominal class classifier so only classific classification nominal classification so there's no regression um, it tackles only nominal class problems so the class variable must be nominal not uh, string not date not a numerical and it usually improves performance although sometimes it over overfits so the way we do it is we import class class adaboost m1 which is here from classifier.meta as we mentioned before and then this class actually needs one base classifier again i'm sure you understand how it works so we pass it one base classifier and then we just tell it number of iterations how time we, how many times we wanted to repeat and then we build the classifier after we build it of course we can evaluate as I showed you in previous videos the second one is bagging bagging a classifier to reduce variance so it can do both classification and regression of course depending on the base model and we can find this worker.classifiers.meta.bagging and we just create a new bagging object and then we keep pass it the classifier actually by the way for the other boost, uh, it's meant to be improving a weak classifier. Naive base is not weak, so let's do decision stump. Yep, rather than uh, naive base. Yep, where is decision stump? It's here. Yep. So, going back to bagging, let me save. Bagging, uh, we set the classifier using a random tree if you want the base model. And as we said, bagging can handle both classification and regression. We set the number of iterations, and then we build the classifier. As we mentioned before, if you want to just explore the methods, for example, you just do that, and dot, and it will show you the list of available methods in this model, yep. Yeah? Or we can read more, as we said, in the documentation. The next method is the stacking. So, stacking method, it combines several models, and it can be used for classification or regression now this method uh, as you know it works like in two stages so we need one meta classifier and we need a list or an array of other multiple classif classifiers for the stacking to work we create a new stacking object i name it here stacker just import the uh, stacking class from the meta package worker.classifiers.meta then uh, we uh, uh, set the meta classifier i set it to a new j the j48 the decision tree and then i just create here 
an array of models or classifiers, an array of uh, models, one new J48, comma, new naive base, comma, new random forest. You can have here, uh, uh, you know, a list of your favorite, maybe, classifiers. And as, as we said before, it works for classification or regression, so you can use it also for regression models. And then you just pass that array of classifiers or of models to the method stacker.set classifiers. This is a method in class stacking. And then you just build the classifier the normal way, or you build the model in the normal way. Here, you're using the training data that we used before. Uh, I'm actually using the weather data, the well known weather nominal data. Yep. Now, uh, the last one is voting, so it's a class for combining classif classifiers. Uh, it's voting, so the way the output is uh, chosen is via voting. It needs one or more classifiers, so I'm using the array of classifiers that I have prepared here to pass it to it, and then we build the, classif the classifier using the build classifier method. So vote, voter, INMG, the object voter equals new vote, and then pass it the array of classifiers and then just call the method straightforward. This is how it's done via the Java source code. All you need to do is just uh, double check the method you need for your configurations and setup, for example, number of iterations and uh, the, any other uh, options. Here you have some, I have prepared some uh, 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 sort of comments for you to understand how it works. Remember, you will find a link to this code underneath this video in the comments area. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.